Good morning, Turlock Administrators. This is Luke again from Stanislaus County Office of Ed. I want to take a minute to make you a quick tutorial on how to potentially use Dropbox along with Adobe Reader Pro to make your admin life just a little bit easier. Okay, team. So in order to use PDF Reader Pro in conjunction with Dropbox, the first thing we have to do is have these apps installed on our machine. So to do that, you're going to go into the App Store and you can conduct a search for both apps. And how you do that is in the top right hand corner, uh, you will simply type the app that we're looking for. So in this case, Dropbox, and hit search. And when Dropbox comes up, you will simply hit uh, buy. And even though it is a free app, it will just ask you for your uh, Apple ID credentials, and you'll be able to install Dropbox on your machine. Same can be said for PDF Reader Pro. And if you do not have PDF Reader Pro, contact your district administrator in the IT department and they will get you hooked up with the appropriate version of PDF Reader Pro. So once we have both apps installed, uh, we can begin to pull things out of the cloud and uh, use them at our discretion. So one thing I think we could have done a better job on describing during yesterday's session is to do this we should probably start not in Dropbox but with PDF Reader Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start by opening up uh, the PDF Reader. And remember, as we discussed yesterday, it's important for your document that you're downloading from Dropbox to have a landing place, a place where it's going to live. So I think where we could have streamlined yesterday's procedure was by adding a, a place for that file to live as soon as we download it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a file, and I can do that by tapping on the icon in the top right hand corner of my PDF Reader screen where I can see create a new folder. So what I'm going to do there is create a new folder and let's title this Dropbox Demo. So here's my Dropbox Demo folder and as you can see right here in the middle of my screen uh, I have a new folder or a place where that new document is going to live because remember when I download it from Dropbox it lands in my place called Inbox and remember when something's in the inbox I can't necessarily annotate it or do anything to it so in this particular case I've just created a folder uh, where I will remove the downloaded document from the inbox I will put it into my Dropbox demo and then I will be able to do anything I my heart desires with that document so after I've created that place where my document is going to be housed on my iPad what I'm going to do next is then go into Dropbox and pull down a document uh, that I would like to use. So just like yesterday, I've now opened up my Dropbox account. Uh, I'm here within the Admin Council April 10 folder. Um, and again, let's go back and go into Demo Docs and let's pull down um, Common Core Technology PDF. So I'm going to open that document because uh, let's just say for whatever reason I want to use this in an observation or something and again in the top right hand corner you see the small down arrow um, with the bracket shape underneath it I'm gonna hit that and choose open in and that will open my document in whichever app I deem fit so in this particular case we're gonna go with PDF reader so in this particular case and here's that uh, alert we were talking about earlier the document that I've pulled down is now living in the middle of my screen in that folder called Inbox. And in order for us to be able to annotate this document, Common Core Technology, there it is, we have to move it. We have to move it into our Dropbox demo folder that we created at the beginning of this tutorial. So again, just notice that I'm looking at my document list here within my Inbox. And at the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a pencil within a square. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. When I tap on that, you'll notice the uh, list of options that I now have to do to these documents as I tap it. So I'm going to tap it, and uh, you'll also notice that two circles pop up next to the documents. So what that gives me a chance to do is choose the document that I would like to manipulate. So in this particular case, we're going to choose Common Core Technology PDF, and then we're going to go to that ribbon at the top of the screen that says email, rename, zip, delete, move, open in, or copy or select. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose move. By choosing move, that will pull up the list of folders. 
Um, and remember, we set up that folder at the beginning of this tutorial called Dropbox Demo. So what I'm going to do is choose that folder as the uh, new residence for my document. And you can see on the right-hand side the check mark that indicates that's where it's going to go. And then I'm going to hit the word Paste at the top of that menu. So now um, I'm going to go back to my list of folders. And within my Dropbox Demo folder, you see I've got my new Common Core Technology PDF. Um, that I have just pulled out of Dropbox and I will be able to manipulate and annotate this particular document. So once you've moved the document to its own folder you can now annotate this document. So just a quick look at some of the annotation tools that you can access by using the uh, edit pencil here in the top right hand corner. So by tapping that uh, remember I can choose a highlighter to highlight elements on the document uh, I can use a free writing pen, so I can uh, circle or um, show things of emphasis, right? Remember, I can also add text to a document. Okay, and granted that's yellow here, so it's hard to see, so let's change that to a nice red. So text shows. And remember, anything that I do uh, on the page, I'm always going to want to save it. So you'll notice here, again, my highlights disappeared because I didn't save. So I'm going to highlight something, and then in the top right we have this little disk here um, that saves whatever changes you've made to the document. So again, um, back here in my Dropbox demo, I now have a Common Core uh, terminology document that I'm able to mark up and annotate that I've pulled from Dropbox. So the final thing I may want to do with my document after I annotate it is put it back in Dropbox so I have access to it all the time from my tablet or from my computer or my workstation at school, um, wherever that might be. So to get it back where I need it to go, uh, in this case Dropbox, on the right hand side of my document, and again I'm here in my Dropbox demo folder, I'm going to tap this little share icon on the right which is a rectangle with an arrow coming out of it. And this time I'm going to choose Open In on the far right of that menu. And remember, I'm going to want to stick this back in Dropbox so I have access to it. Um, and in this case, it's slated to go to a folder called Completed Docs, which is exactly where I would like the document to live. So just quickly, uh, by going back uh, to where my list of folders is, you can see how I got Completed Docs. Uh, I choose that particular folder, and then I would hit Choose and ultimately save. And what you'll notice is, uh, going back to my list of folders, in my completed docs I have a Common Core Technology PDF document, uh, and there it is. One caveat is on your tablet, uh, your annotations will not show uh, on the iPad, but they will show on the computer base side. So uh, let me just give you a quick look at what that looks like. So here on the web-based side, remember I can go into my various folders, uh, and remember completed docs is where I stashed my new Common Core Technology document. Okay, and so by opening that, you can see here that uh, here's our text window and the highlighting that we did um, on the iPad. So again, using Dropbox and PDF Reader Pro, um, you can streamline some of the activities you do in your day-to-day -day admin life. And please remember, you can contact me at lhibbard at stanco.org for any questions.